guys this is legit lee back again with another video for you i like to do diy projects so if you guys are interested in anything that has to do with tech or anything that is in your fantasy you want to build into reality i'm the same way so definitely consider subscribing hitting that notification bell whenever a video does become available to you Today we're going to be debuting my Blender CNC machine that I designed completely from scratch. Now, the machine had a bunch of alterations done over the last few months. That's why I haven't put out any files on Thingiverse like I promised. I do apologize that it took so long. There was a lot of beta testing going on. But I finally got the machine dialed into what I want it to do for the most part. I'd say I'm really like 90% there, but I consider that a passing grade. Um, but... The machine is actually made out of 20 by 40 and 20 by 20 aluminum excursions with 1605 ball head screws for anti-backlash support. And I'm using a MKS Gen L version 1 motherboard for the main board of the computer and it has a Raspberry Pi connected with OctoPrint to run a server so I can wirelessly transmit and receive information from the machine. The motherboard has Merlin firmware installed onto it, and it's only an 8-bit board, so it's not doing 32-bit processing, so you're gonna have to use 1.9 or lower. Anyway, um, I've made the machine as rigid as I possibly can. There is a few more upgrades I like to do, which I will be posting videos here on my YouTube channel and on Facebook as well. I have a Facebook group called Blender Designs and IRL. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and consider joining the group. I will approve anybody that likes to design anything in Blender, so you're all welcome. And also I want to mention that the machine can do on the X 630 of millimeters, not inches, and 460 millimeters on the Y. Uh, the X has 87. But that will be upgraded because I do want to remove the PLA X carriage to be actually steel. I have me a welder now, so I can actually weld the metal together and drill and tap the holes and everything. I have some most of the parts already. I just haven't had a chance to actually make it. I just moved to this new space. It is nice. I have a lot more room. I do need to get rid of some of that echo you hear. I want to make my studio a lot more robust. So I will be doing that as well. That's the reason why these videos are taking some time to actually produce. Not to mention I have family, kids, and all that good stuff. So that can kind of get in the way. But the machine, I actually have been testing it a lot. The reason why I have done a lot of upgrades is one of the main reasons my Y axis was not working properly like I wanted it to. The Y had some kind of weird, um, I want to say motion effect whenever it was moving it made like a wiggle line instead of being straight so it's kind of looking like a snake instead of a straight line so i figured out that it had to do with only having one linear rail so i had to make the machine more rigid by adding a second one on both the left and right side of the y-axis because both of them have a motor so each side is for the y and then i had to add two linear rails extra than the ones already had on there. So now we have two linear rails on all axes, which made it a lot more rigid and more straighter for the cuts. I use a laser engraver now at the very moment so that way I can test out, make sure everything is actually super accurate. But I will be doing more CNC work, so that will be coming shortly in the next few videos as well. I have tested before I even did the upgrade using um, wood and acrylic so plexiglass plywood like um, MDF as well I believe I've used on there so there has been wood already used on this machine I do want to use aluminum in the future I just don't have like aluminum parts at the very moment just to spare for waste but I will hopefully in the future have some available for me so I can show you guys what it can and can't do um, I have a regular spindle, it's the 500 watt Chinese variant um, CNC spindle with the ER11 collet and I did go to Amazon and buy a collet set. So originally I got the spindle from Gearbest but then I bought a collet set for that specific ER11 
so that way I can have more options for bits and things of that nature. But um, the machine I had tested out doing a 100 millimeter cube, which worked out fine now, and it's actually straighter on the Y than it is the X, and I believe that's because I have uh, 20 by 40 aluminum excursions. I should change out the X's to be that as well because that has 20 by 20 so it's not as thick and solid like the 20 by 40 ones. But uh, first I'm going to test just linking them together using some kind of bracket system that I'll probably just design in Blender so I can mount both of the 20 by 20s together in that gap that it has. But um, if that doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and opt out to get the 20 by 40s. It just costs some extra money that I'm not trying to throw out right this very moment. But if I need to, I definitely will. Uh, the machine has been ran for a few hours. I've done um, tests with vinyl for the most part, cardboard as well, and some wood. But there will be a lot more testing, a lot more footage. There's a lot of things I want to fix, a lot of things I want to build, which reminds me to a next point. I will and have been working on a company called Anime Every Day. And uh, the reason why I call it that is because all my stuff basically are based around anime uh, TV shows or characters. And that wouldn't just be strictly Japanese anime either. I have, I like Chinese anime, Japanese anime, uh, America's anime like Marvel Cinematic Universe or Marvel anime animation like Disney XD type of stuff Spider-Man you know you name it Batman uh, DC comics all that good stuff so uh, all my stuff is based around stuff like that so that's what I'm really into as you can see here I got a Batman hat on <laughs> um, that's just the stuff that I thrive off of I like to bring our fantasies into reality so that's one of the main things that I'm really into so um, if you guys are interested in any of the products that I will be having videos for in the future about the things I design, um, I definitely will have them up for sale on my website or uh, uh, on eBay. At, probably I'll start off with eBay first, then I'll have me a website for you guys to actually buy off of. I just want to make sure that I'm not spending money on a website if I don't need to. So I'm going to start off on eBay first because I've been using eBay just to sell regular things. So it's just easier at the very moment. But um, I am working hard on my YouTube videos guys I'm trying to make sure that lighting camera video quality audio everything is working really nicely for you I don't want to have any negative stuff or bad things going on in my channel so I try to keep my channel growing as best I possibly can with the time and money that I make um, but I will say that this actually marks the 200th episode here on my channel and all of them are based around DIY stuff. And if you guys haven't looked at any of those other videos, I would definitely recommend it. It's definitely a lot of good tutorials on there for things that you may have been looking for, but probably haven't been able to find. Uh, this machine, for instance, is gonna be one of those big tutorial videos. I probably have just a certain playlist just for this machine because of the fact that there's a lot of information out here that I had to grab from a bunch of different people. So like YouTube forums, creators, uh, engineers, you name it. This machine has been built around a bunch of information from a bunch of different people. So it's not something you could just get all at once. But with me and my channel, that's what I strive for. I wanna make sure that you guys don't have to look all over the interwebs <laughs> to find the information you're looking for. Hopefully I can just provide it for you or to you without having to worry about looking all over the place. Now that's one of the reasons why my videos get kind of long and I am trying really hard to make sure that they're super short as possible. But I mean, there's so much information I have to give you. I'm not saying that you guys are dumb or anything. It's just, I'd rather give you all the information that I know so that way you don't have to run into any problems. And that keeps you from having to ask a lot of questions. But I don't mind you guys asking questions. You can always post comments down in the description and the videos that I've actually produced for you and I definitely will get to them as soon as I possibly can. I actually do look at them a lot and message people back. Sometimes I may not message back as fast and it's just because YouTube sometimes doesn't notify me about the messages. I'm trying to like just look over videos. I've noticed a bunch of them have not been sent to me and I had to go and reply and there was, it's been crazy. But all I know is I try my best to reply to you guys because I feel like the more I give you the information, the better you are and will be with the information that I provide for the machines that I build. So 
I have other machines that I've designed in Blender, as, ma as a matter of fact, that will be made here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be making just a straight up laser engraver machine because I wanna be able to use my CNC just strictly for CNC, not laser. And a laser engraver doesn't require ball head screws or anything, I can just use belts, which is fine. I'd rather do that. I feel like ball head screws is just a little too much extra work and force and stuff for that. I'd rather use than big industrial stuff for big industrial projects. Um, I'm sorry that this video dragged out. I do appreciate you guys watching until the end. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, definitely let me know. My name is Legit Lee. I appreciate everybody and their support. Hopefully I see you in the next one. I'm signing out.